Hi, I'm Andy Jones and welcome to Get Modern. In our uh, Intune uh, handbook series of videos, today I'm going to talk about the, the second step on my 10 step process, uh, which I've documented on my movetomodern.co.uk blog post, and that is uh, the configure domain name. Now this is uh, an option, uh, you don't have to do this. By default, when you set up a new tenant, uh, you will be given a your domain name dot on, on Microsoft dot com uh, suffix and um, you can use that there's no harm in using that um, however before you start synchronizing any on-premise user accounts or adding user accounts into your Intune tenant uh, it is advisable that you add your domain name um, why well if you want users to use their uh, your company name, your company domain, for their logon, um, be it um, a .co.uk or .com, for example, um, in order to, for people to have a consistent uh, experience, it's best to set this up before you get going uh, with an Intune, and that's why it's on this list. Really, it's quite an important uh, an important step. Now there are various ways of doing this. Um, you can go into the admin.microsoft.com or you can go into the Azure portal. I'm going to give you a quick uh, show of both of these just to, just to kind of navigate to where you where you change it. Um, let me go into the admin.microsoft.com first. So this is automatically logged me on. Um, so I'm in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I go to show all. Um, then I go into settings and then you'll see an option for domains. In here I can add add my domain, go through, add it in and then it will uh, connect the domain and, and finish. Um, the other option here is if you go into your, uh, your Azure portal, this is where your Azure tenant and your Azure Active Directory is hosted. Uh, within here you'll need your admin permissions obviously either uh, global admin um, credentials will do here um, and if you select your active directory um, and then you'll see an option for custom domain names okay at this point you can hit custom domain name I'll um, add one in here this isn't a domain that I own uh, but I'll go through the steps if I hit that it will add it and it will give you the TXT uh, record details for you to then go and um, set that up within your your hosting company currently hosting your domain name now if you um, if you have uh, a GoDaddy account then it will automatically ask you to for your credentials to log on um, and that will allow you to kind of set that record up automatically uh, which is good um, in this case I'm not going to use this I don't own this domain so I'm not going to verify which you would do once you have set this up you would go to verify but for me I'm going to delete this at this point okay now what does this mean once you set that up well um, if you go back to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center um, and go into your users um, if you did have any existing users within your uh, your tenant, your Azure Active Directory, um, go into a, a specific user you set up and hit edit. Uh, within here you will see, although it's got a suffix of on Microsoft.com, you'll be able to change that and it will give you the option, give the option to change your, uh, your, your company domain name and you can save that. Now like I say, ideally you don't want to do that because that could cause quite a lot of work for you if you've got a lot of users if you set your domain up first before you synchronize your account say from from your on-prem active directory um, then they will automatically uh, be registered with uh, with your company suffix uh, domain name now within mem once that's set up and that can take up to 72 hours once you've changed that record um, in most cases it will happen fairly quickly but it can take up to 72 hours um, if you go into uh, within Microsoft Endpoint Manager go into devices 
go into Windows, uh, Windows Enrollment. There is an option here and here called CNAME Validation. And in here you can put your domain name in after a period, hit test and it will give you uh, give you the details as it says here by the way changes to DNS records might take up to 72 hours to propagate um, so yeah that's where you, that's where you can test it okay that's a quick uh, snapshot of um, uh, setting up the domain name um, like I say it's uh, quite an important step um, if you do choose to go down that route and it's number two on our list our list of 10 steps within uh, the how to set up Microsoft Intune day one. Okay, thanks for now.